Sheeksters. Hi YouTube. Hope you guys are having a great week. So today's video is going to be a guess, guess, guess. You can look at the title. <laughs> a haul video. Um, so I know you guys love hauls. At least I think you love hauls. And if you do love hauls, specifically try on hauls, let me know. Signify that, you know, by hitting that like button. Okay. Um, but today's video is going to be a haul video. It's kind of that weird period where, um, summer's almost over and you have like two camps. There's camp, the camp that's totally over summer and can't wait for fall because they're totally over the heat. And then there's the camp that would stretch out summer for as long as possible. Let me know in the comments which camp you're, you belong to. Those of you who know me know that I love to save. And um, I don't believe you should ever have to pay full price for anything retail. And I'm definitely a strong believer in maximizing your shopping budget. And over the years, I've definitely picked up a few tips and tricks. And in today's video, I'm going to be talking to you guys about ShopTagger. This portion of the video is in collaboration with ShopTagger. ShopTagger is a smart shopping assistant. If you love to online shop like me, specifically if you love to online window shop like me, okay, then this is definitely the app for you. This app allows you to save your favorite things from your favorite websites and it will notify you if any of those things go on sale or if any of those things come back in stock. Um, for example, I have been all summer long, I wanted a specific hat, the hat costs a little bit more than I was willing to pay and my goal was to you know check from time to time see if the hat went on sale well how many times did I remember to check not enough times okay <laughs> find an item that you love if, if, it, if you want to save a little bit more on it if you're not ready to really pay the full price on it you can just save the item and once that item goes on sale shop tagger will alert you they'll either send you push notifications to your phone or they'll send you an email which is great okay if you're trying to maximize your shopping budget um so i thought i would just walk you guys through how to use the app so the first thing you have to do is go on to the shop tagger site and do a quick and easy sign up the next thing you have to do is to download the chrome extension um and then once you download that chrome extension you can go to any of the thousands of websites that shop tagger um partners with and if you find an, an item um all you have to do is click the shop tagger icon and then a pop-up will come up and you can put in the details you can tell shop tagger to notify you when the item goes on sale when the item comes back in stock and you can customize all of this to your preference so once you've saved your items you can go on over to the shop tagger website and you have the option of customizing your saved items by wish list so if you haven't checked out shop tagger already make sure to click the link below this video summer sales are really great right now like you can get some really great pieces from designer to like just like summer staples at such a great price and then but there's all this fall stuff in all the stores and your eyes are just like totally attracted to them um i've got a few accessories here and then i have a few clothing pieces there obviously there's going to be like full fall hauls coming up this is just a little you know just a little few bits and bobs that i've picked up along the way but if you are here for my transitional haul okay then keep on watching so um i have a pile of little bits and bobs down here so i thought i would just go through it really quickly starting with something that is perfect for fall and it is a beret um this is a red beret i actually have another red beret that's made out of leather that i got from fashion nova but it was just it just felt a little cheap um the leather was not that fantastic 
Um, so I think I'm probably going to donate that one or something or sell it. Um, but I saw this one at Target um, and it was only $10 so I decided to scoop it up. Um, it's made of a wooly type fabric. Um, and I feel like, you know, I feel like thanks to like Beyonce, you know, berets are cool, right? Berets are cool. Okay. So yeah, I love that. And I actually could pair it with something that I'll show you later on in the haul. Speaking of Target, have you checked out the Wild Fable line? Because this was from that line. And I have another item in this haul from the Wild Fable line. I would love to know your thoughts. I was really surprised. Everybody seemed to love it on Instagram. Like Now... When last I checked this jacket, it was almost sold out. I think they only had like a 12 and a 14. Now, they may have restocked. Um, if they have, I will link it down below. They may also have gotten a similar item. And if I find it, I will also link it down below. Because again, animal print is big. And I just love this jacket because it's kind of like a denim jacket but with the animal print um so yes i really like it it's cropped so if you like wearing high-waisted jeans like me it just hits at the right point like spot on spot on i am here okay so it has pockets i've never tried them yep they are real pockets in front it has um epaulettes around the lip uh around the shoulders um it also has like a popper around the arm and then it has this cool detail and when you pull this the the jacket kind of like cinches a little bit more around your waist it almost gives you that like 80s feel and you already know that 80s is big okay for fall and winter and if you don't know what else is big make sure to check out my fall trends video so yeah love this love this piece so the next item ooh, so the next item is going to be this gorgeous plushie. No, this is not a teddy bear. This is actually a bag, okay? Topshop does me no wrong when it comes to on-trend, great quality, moderately priced accessories, right? And this is definitely something I feel like I'm gonna have so much fun with this fall. I saw these like fluffy bags last fall and I was kinda like, mm-mm, about them. But when I saw this like mustard yellow, almost acid green color, I think it depends. Yeah, I would say this is the mustard yellow, but somehow it gives me green vibes as, as well. When I saw this, I knew I had to have it. One of my favorite color combinations for fall and winter this year is going to be camel and mustard. And um, I already have a wonderful camel jacket, and I know I'm going to be pairing it with this bag. I just think it just adds something fun. And one thing I love about, like... For accessories I noticed that they don't really kind of go they don't really go out of style like that because I've had this fur clutch for years and any winter <laughs> I can pull it out and pair it with an outfit because fur honestly I feel is always going to be on trend for fall and winter just like plaid you know so I picked this up um it has a little button closure right here so it's kind of like a bucket style and it actually does have a long strap and that is my only pet peeve with this i really feel like it wouldn't have cost them too much to make this strap the same color as the bag like why is it black or maybe they should have made the strap brown i don't know but i'm just not a fan of this color strap now will i wear it Sure, but like for photos and things, I know this is how I'm gonna hold the bag because it's so cute. And a coworker of mine had it last, or a similar bag last year. I don't know if it was this exact bag. Um, and I was like, oh, I wanted it all, all winter. The first time I saw her with it, I was like, oh, I want it, which is funny because I had already seen it. And I was like, mm, 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 mm. And then I saw it on her, I was like, dang, I should have got it. <laughs> um, so, yes love this bag it's so cute um and of course everything i mentioned in this video will be linked down below another item and it is this polka dot top i've picked up three polka dot tops in the space of one month no more polka dot tops for me for now um and i really love this one because it has that sweetheart neckline it also has the whole gathering ruching thing in the back so it will stretch to fit somewhat it has somewhat of like a 
exaggerated somewhat sleeve up here and then it tapers around the arms it's also fitted more like a crop top um and i actually got this from the wild fable line at target i have a target haul if you have not seen that it will also be linked um and yeah i really love this top now i thought it was a 1x in this line i'm actually a 2x in this line so i was i would at least for tops i haven't bought any bottoms but I would I usually size up for bottoms, so I think I'd probably get 3X in bottoms. Um, so I would definitely say that if you have not tried the Wild Fable line, that it is a Junior's Plus sizing. So the next item is going to be a bag, and you can see there's an eyewear in here, which I will go through. So it is this clear PVC bag. I've been seeing this all over. This is something that you could probably say it's is somewhat summer but I still saw it I loved it and I decided to cop it and I picked this up from Shein um, I have a Shein video and that video has a coupon code so if you want to get a deal upon because Shein is already a deal let's be real okay Shein is already a deal um, and I actually saw this bag okay being sold at another store for like 30 or $44, $44. Um, and I can tell you right now that I did not pay that much at Shein. Um, so I will also link that video or annotate it somewhere. But I picked this up from Shein. It's really cute. You know, you could put a magazine in there. That's how I see the street style stars rocking them. Um, you're a cute piece, you know, like your lipstick, a, piece of, a pair of sunglasses. Like, you know, it's meant your phone. It's meant to be cute, okay? It's not really meant to be practical it's just meant to be cute i also love the faux sort of like turtle shell um acetate handle um it actually does come with a black pouch but i took that out because i felt like it made it look a little cheap um so the next pair would go with this beret i'm guessing which is what i was talking about okay it's a red Pair. This is another sort of like designer inspired pair. This was super affordable. I got this from Shein. I think all of their glasses are like three to five dollars. So super, super, super cheap. But like this is for three dollars. Three dollars, guys. Um, I don't know if this was three dollars. I think it was somewhere between three and five. Um, but again, for that price, this is definitely worth it. And I just think this is so super cool. Um, this is not the right hair for this, but like if I had like a wavy bob, that would be the right hair for this, okay? Um, and it would go really well with that beret as well. It's kind of like a muted red, and that's what I like about it because it's not that kind of bright red that looks kind of cheap and plasticky. It's more of like a muted red, um, almost like a resin, and then it also has like a red tinted, um, uh, lens so it looks way more expensive than it actually is and you know that is my motto okay okay <laughs> the last item that I've, I've actually worn i don't think i never wear glasses in um videos when i do like videos like this because they glare and you can see all of my lights and everything through the glasses but i'm a big 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 fan of eyewear i feel like especially in the summertime when you can't do a lot you can't it's just too hot for a jacket too hot to layer too hot so you have very limited options and a hat and like eyewear those are like really your only options for adding interest to your outfit uh, and so during the summer i definitely gravitate towards my eyewear um and so i actually had this on in an outfit if you looked at my if you've seen my target haul the thumbnail i was wearing this pair of um glasses i had a pair of these i don't know what happened to them i feel like some what someone came to my house and took it um so i bought another one um this one is very flat at the top and it's made out of like i don't know it's like a bronzy almost like rose goldish but like muted color or and it's really it feels really sturdy actually feels sturdy like i know this will not break um easily and i got this from h&m i think this is like the most expensive pair of eyewear out of all of them and this was um like maybe somewhere between 12 and 14 dollars i can't remember exactly but the next item that i picked up is from charlotte ruse 
Um, and I got some work pants because, you know, I'm an educator and school's back in session. And I got some paper bag trousers. You guessed it. You know how much I love my paper bag trousers. So they have um, ruching around or pleats around the waist. They tie at the waist. They do not have pockets in the back. Let's see, do they have pockets in front? Nope, they do not have pockets in the front and they are actually somewhat see-through, which is, which is troubling. But, you know, I thought this would be a fun look. They zip up on the side, because I compare this with like black and gray and like burgundy and those kind of like folly type colors, some black slide, um, some black flats or black pumps. And you got yourself a work outfit because there's gray. I think this is supposed to be white, but I feel like it looks like gray running through it. You could also throw on a gray blazer and you got to look. Guys, guys, guys. My sneaker obsession is becoming abnormal. Like, who am I? Who am I? Who am I? I am the girl maybe four years ago five years ago that did owned only one pair of sneakers and they were for the gym yo i have like four pairs of white sneakers now like what is happening to me i don't know um but i picked up a pair of air maxes um and honestly i'm not sure i got that good of a deal in, on these um because they were on the i was on the Nordstrom Rack website. So I was trying to do the dad sneaker trend, but I wasn't trying to spend a lot of money. I was looking for some instant gratification. So I found this pair and it only cost like $17 or $18, which I will link in the description part down below. I showed it on Instagram and I felt like it was too, um, but I just felt like it was too much for me. Like it was too much into the trend for me so i was randomly on the nordstrom rack website and they were doing a nike sale and they had some air maxes so i saw these and i felt like air maxes are like a good in between shoe if you want to try the dad sneaker trend but you don't want to go all the way to the dad, dad sneaker trend, I think an Air Max is good. Especially this style that has like the whole, this part that's really raised. I think this is what's synonymous for for or of the um, dad sneaker trend. It has like a giant sole. And I plan to style them with those biker shorts that I was, you know, telling you guys about. So I was talking about this jacket, which I feel is gonna be, um, some people are gonna love and others are gonna hate. So let me just show it to you guys. It's this fringy mop style jacket. This style of jacket has been around for a couple of seasons. Every year I've been like, oh, I want that jacket and I've never gotten it. So this, last I checked, was almost sold out. Like they only had, they had it in um, pink, like baby pink, black and this tan color and last i checked the pink pink was all sold out and all they had was this color in black i didn't want to get it in black just because i have two teddy coats which kind of give off the same vibe um so yeah i picked this one up what are your thoughts because honestly i'm still not sure if i want to keep this or not um i got this in a us 20 which is what i always get in boohoo it's very oversized very shaggy you can see all the holes in it so on and so forth now the reason why i'm not sure about this is because when you wear this they don't like when, the first time i saw this type of jacket the yarn or this fringy stuff was so tightly like put on or stacked on if that makes any sense anyway that you couldn't see the holes versus this one you can actually see the holes so if i keep this i would only wear it with certain things because i get pet peeves about certain things and like i wouldn't want to wear this with something black because I feel like you'd be able to see it through all of the holes. So you guys tell me, should I keep this shaggy coat or not? So guys, that is it for this transitional haul. 
Um, let's continue the conversation down below. Let me know, of course, what was your favorite and what team are you on? Are you team Let Fall Come or are you team Please Let Summer Stay? I would love to know. Special thanks to Shop Tagger for sponsoring a portion of this video. And if you haven't checked out Shop Tagger already, make sure to click the link right below this video. Um, if you like this video, make sure to share it with a friend and don't forget to rate, comment, subscribe and share and until next time stay blessed i don't know if it's the 20s when they did the silky dresses but it is this gorgeous ruffled